Let's go ahead and scroll over to our first exhibit, um, uh, right over there in container one. So follow me if you all want to come this way. Not only is she making money. All right, folks, I'm just going to keep talking so you can hear me because I don't have a flag. So I just got to do it with my voice. So, our first, our first exhibit is a letter to our data. Yeah, I gotta get the third one. We're gonna go inside and meet Deborah in just a second. I wanted to pause here though and just look at this banner because I think it's utterly gorgeous. Um, and uh, she'll tell the story of how she took this picture. Um, but you know, when you look into the eyes of that child, I feel like I'm there. I feel like this person's looking back at me. And I think that's one of the, the wonderful things that photography can do is transport you to a place that, that you may not have visited yourself. So let's go let's go see Deborah. Oh yeah. So everyone, this is Deborah. Deborah. Everyone, I showed them. I showed them the banner on the side of the container, and you told me a story yesterday about that moment. Uh, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind relating it and making it up in the chat. I love that we have this. Everyone, thank you for joining us today. I'm so grateful that I got to be first on the list today. It was a few coming up. Um, yeah, you know, it's a beautiful opportunity to get to be a part of something so good. And when you're being gifted the opportunity, you're like, well, what am I going to photograph? And how is it going to look? And more importantly, what is that piece going to look like? You know, the piece that is going to draw the audience in. When I was on the beach, I spent a month photographing this body of work back in March when I got orders. And uh, it was difficult, you know, you, you, you're seeing photographs all the time. You're looking around the island, you're seeing someone at a bus stop, you're seeing someone throw themselves into the ocean, whatever it may be. And it's like, how do I capture that moment? So I went down to the beach and I saw this family were playing in the ocean and the, the young the child was being held by his uncle, who's probably seven or eight years of age. And uh, I said, can I take your photo? And the, the young boy, the seven-year-old, went, of course, and he turned his back to me. And then what was revealed was the little kid, and I took the photo. And I just knew when I got home that night that I had the photo. We're killing each other now. It's friendly. It's friendly. So yeah, so when I saw that photo, I was like, oh, there it is. And then that, to me, encapsulated the whole story, really, about the next seven generations and storytelling and the future of this island and where it came from and where it's gone. So that's how that I want to do something bigger than myself. I want to step out of my comfort zone, so I end it. So I throw myself into, I go to South Dakota, and I document the Lakota tribe. So with all that knowledge of years of being a photographer and learning writing and also understanding that to write and really understanding the camera, Leica, finally, I go to four and they said, we'd like to do a show. And I'm just like, it'll be the first show that I'll have done with an indigenous woman. And I just went, then I want to tell a story that's bigger than myself. And I went and made a film using the Leica SL camera. You can also use your film and so photography. And I went to South Dakota and I made a film about when I talked to people. It's the women of the white buffalo. And everything that I knew about what it is to be a photographer, I was able to bring to that moment. And you got to be quick. Now you're documenting 530 years of genocide, of story, of history, of ancient beings, and the uh, parents and like the right there. <laughs> Head of marketing, just here in the back of um, so I was able to bring back a story bigger than myself and really a story for life as well that really goes beyond just storytelling and fashion, which is a way of storytelling as well. And to be able to, to bring a history uh, to uh, the forefront and, uh, and as an indigenous woman to be able to speak to that which is the biggest honor. And I realized at that point that I had stepped out of this place of kind of occupy space that really wasn't for me. And I'll say one thing, if I could say one thing, there's no story if you're a photographer, anybody here. Wanting to be in that arena, there's so many of us now. 
your story will show up until you leave me as a white doctor and that story showed up for me as a photographer that I could say something unique and have a unique standpoint with the years, I've been doing this for 20 years, um, with the years uh, of, of doing this in my work, that I could stand in front of a local person and see my life and understand and how I have this amazing camera in my hand. That was my aha moment. Like, oh, okay, it was worth it. It was worth all that time I spent. So um, I moved from that and from creating this body of work, as you see today, I love that it's Robbins, because I grew up in Robbins. Um, I feel honored to know the landscape so well. And because of my journey with the Lakota people, I just had a totally different reverence for standing in front of me and saying, can I take this photo?